The following content is based on real events that occurred in UK academia. UK research associate ensnared in overseas military scandal. A recently commercialised drone designed to track endangered species in extreme weather conditions appears to be the focal point of an international military scandal. The research associate that designed the drone cashed in on their invention when a UK subsidiary of an overseas tech giant offered to invest and help commercialise the technology through the formation of a university spin-out company. The overseas tech company stated that they intended to market the drone to the producers of wildlife, travel and extreme sports documentaries. However, aware that the technology could have dual-use applications to track people, withstand explosions and function in extreme weather, the research associate conducted open-source research on the UK subsidiary, which left them feeling assured that the intended use was for civilian purposes only. Confidence bolstered, the research associate partnered with their institution's technology transfer office and went ahead with forming the university spin-out company, providing the tech company with exclusive licensing rights. Following a year of R&D to further develop the drone's capabilities, the research associate was shocked to find that the country in which the UK subsidiary was headquartered had recently produced a military drone with near-identical capabilities and identical appearance. When the research associate approached the partner company, they denied involvement in the development of the military drone, but soon after they terminated their agreement with the university spin-out. What can we learn from the UK research associate's story? Researchers should familiarise themselves with institutional policies related to university spin-out companies, particularly in regard to shareholding and intellectual property ownership. Under the National Security and Investment Act, the UK government can scrutinise qualifying acquisitions if there's reasonable suspicion of a risk to national security. Acquisitions related to sensitive areas of the economy, such as military and dual use, are more likely to trigger scrutiny. Universities can voluntarily notify the government about an acquisition to determine if it will be called in. Researchers should be aware of who ultimately benefits from their work. When collaborating with UK subsidiaries of overseas companies, explore the organisation's entire ownership structure as part of due diligence. Consider whether export controls apply based on information transfer within that structure. Working with overseas partners or in foreign markets may require you to obtain additional IP protections, as they are often limited by territory, meaning IP protections held in the UK may not be recognised overseas. Note that IP enforcement varies across different territories. Not all uphold protections as rigorously as the UK. The NPSA and NCSC's Secure Innovation Campaign offers guidance on safeguarding startups and spin outs. What could the UK Research Associate have done to mitigate the risks? Conducting open source research on all partners and their funding sources, not just those based in the UK, at the outset and refreshing this regularly for the duration of a project. This should be undertaken in conjunction with the Research Office, Professional Services and or TTO to ensure a comprehensive understanding of the ownership and funding structures involved and the ultimate beneficiary of their work. Ensure that you are compliant with institutional policies with regard to the legal owner of any intellectual property that is developed when you are employed by a university, developing a spin-out or accepting funding from a third party. Consult institutional policies on holding external appointments, conflicts of interests and IP ownership prior to becoming involved in university spin-outs. Identify any legal obligations overseas partners and their funders may be subject to. Seek advice on IP protections, both in the UK and in the relevant overseas jurisdictions, from your research office or professional services. You can also access the Intellectual Property Office's online support tools.
Need more information? Speak with the team at your institution responsible for research security and visit the NPSA Trusted Research website.